Yeah, what should I tell? Oh, it's uh, almost 20 moment. years. Yeah? My favorite moments. I got won a gold medal in Vail in 1989. That was for sure a very big moment in my career. And I won some downhills in Kitzbühel and Wengen. I won some slalom and GS. So let's say I'm one of the few racers who could win in all the disciplines. And that's uh, maybe for me, for my career, one of my biggest achievements. When I was young, I was skiing for Austria. But with the age of 12 years, we changed to, to Luxembourg Ski Federation due to troubles with some officials of the Austrian Ski Federation and uh, my parents took the decision and changed. I think it was a good move. It was more work, it was more costful because we had to pay everything by ourselves. But at the end we had more freedom. So uh, the whole physical training I did by myself since my 10th year. So uh, I, we had not uh, the idea or the budget to finance a physical trainer. So I did it myself. I was in the local track and field club and I was training in spring and summer in the track and field team. And uh, in winter I did it by myself together with my father. Once in a while I was training with Phil and Steve in Aspen when we had races there at Mount Buttermilk mostly. It was in the early 80s, but the rest of my career I trained by myself. Absolutely, I love skiing, I still love skiing and uh, that's also the reason I like to come back to Wales because I had so many good moments here in North America and the conditions are here really fabulous and it's great to come back. You know, maybe because mo very many people in my surrounding area told me that this is the finish of my career and I felt the feeling that they would like that I finish my career and that gave me an extra push to train harder and uh, could win the next year's Slalom World Cup and uh, a lot of races. So I think always when I felt that people would like to have me away, I started to train a little harder. The most important thing is always to like what you do. That is the absolute most important thing. And um, I can uh, advise also the trainers and the parents of talented uh, youngsters that they choose situations and activities the kids like to do. It doesn't help if they train every day for four hours, gates and uh, training physical. They, they should have in every moment they do, they should have fun, enjoy. And I think that's the best chance to get him on top of the world. The miracle is that uh, the parents, the trainers, the people around young people find out how we can motivate the youngsters that they like what they do. And only when they like to do it, they can reach a top level. I am making uh, event management in Europe. So I organize ski trips and uh, different other things also in summer for companies, for private persons, something like Franz Weber is doing in the United States. I am working for a company in Liechtenstein who is producing a, a very interesting therapy system, a physical therapy system which helped me the last years with my knees, with my problems in my body due, due to my 18 injuries I had in the last 25 years or 30 years. And uh, I think I was it was a coincidence that I found this, this, uh, this, uh, this machine, which is called Beamer. And um, I think I could help in the meantime a lot of people that had physical problems to improve the life situation in a very easy way. It's very easy. Uh, they, uh, they find me very easy on Google. Yeah. Uh, you just type in my name, they find one or two email addresses, they will uh, arrive at my account and um, it would be a pleasure for me to, uh, to get in contact with American people and uh, organize something in the States or even in Europe.